and welcome back to Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can be in a live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Now we're heading back to Detroit, Michigan, where that sovereign citizen living man faces off with a no-nonsense judge. Check it out. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. We'll call the case of the state of Michigan versus Eric Martin. Case number 23S00425. Assistant Public Defender Chinazi Kariak and Rumi on behalf of Mr. Eric Martin. Mr. Martin, could you state your name for the record, please? You're muted, sir. I am a, uh, first of all, I'm a living man um, that has a name similar to the defendant, but I am not the legal fiction corporate entity defendant with the all capital letters name. My name is spelled capital E, lowercase R I C, capital M A R T I. T I N. Um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, now this is a special appearance. This is not a general uh, jurisdictional granting appearance. I challenge jurisdiction of this court as I did in the, at the arraignment. Um, I didn't mention a special appearance. I meant to. I forgot to do that, but I want to uh, make it clear that I. Uh, that, you know, I want to do that for the arraignment, too. You know, I'm speaking for that the arraignment, too. Just like, no, special appearance. Um, and uh, I am not aware of any contracts that I have knowingly, willingly, and voluntarily entered into Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin. any jurisdictional. Mr. Martin, Mr. Yeah. Martin, do you hear me calling your name? Huh? Do you hear me calling your name? I just heard yes. Okay. I'm not certain what you're doing, but this is a pretrial and this does not go this way. So first of all, my first issue is it looks like you refuse to have the public defender represent you. Is that what you're indicating, sir? Yes. If any attorneys think they're representing me, they're fired. I will not take no attorneys uh, because that would be giving up my right to be sovereign and to be uh, a living human. Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, I heard you. I'm going to advise you of your rights and what you're giving up today. And then once you decide what you're going to do after I do that, we'll go from there. Clear? Yep. All right. So you uh, have a right to have an attorney in this case. And in fact, this is a charge that involves a misdemeanor. It involves one, two, three misdemeanors at this point in time. Those three misdemeanors do carry jail terms, which is what you could get if you are found and convicted of these particular offenses. And I'm going to read those to you to make sure you fully understand that by giving up an attorney, you will subject yourself to the potential of those penalties and that it is not um, in your best interest to do so, but that is your right to do so. So I have to make sure that this record is clear. As far as driving while license suspended is concerned, that is a misdemeanor, carries a maximum penalty of 93 days and up to $500 fine. As to the other two, those are a maximum of 90 days and up to $100 fine. If you are found guilty, you, the person, the entity, or any of you will uh, potentially go to jail. Do you understand that? Well, I do not understand that. And I do, I do not stand under the charges. Okay. Well, you are charged and you can say you don't understand it. If you don't understand it, then I'll refer you for competency. Well, I comprehend it, but I don't understand it. And I do not stand under the charges. I don't need no comp competency. I've been doing law 28 years. I know All right. I'm well, you 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 are under the jurisdiction of this court, and I've, that is what you're going to do. So, what else would you like to say today? What are you requesting with respect to this? Your options are: first of all, do you want to have an attorney or not? No, I will not accept no attorney because that would be accepting jurisdiction okay. of the court. All right, you have refused to counsel in this particular case. I'm going to appoint the PD as standby. Secondly. Do you wish to have this case set for a trial or what would you like to do? The case should be dismissed as I pointed out in my- Not be dismissed, sir. I sent to you before. You should have it on your desk. Um, I'm asking you right now, do you want a trial or what do you want to do? The case should be dismissed as I pointed out because I was traveling by right. I'm the crime victim here. 
the cops should be charged in my case. I was traveling by right in my private property, my motorcycle. Mr. Martin, I would just advise that you don't discuss the underlying case. You're scheduled for pre-trial. So in case you do want to set it for trial, you don't want to um, discuss any issues on the case. Who's that speaking? The judge appointed me as standby counsel. All right. Well, 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 like I said, any, any lawyers that think they're representing me, they're fired. I don't accept no attorneys. Um, I'm you have to decide whether I appoint standby counsel, sir. Huh? You do not get to decide whether I appoint standby counsel. Well, you can appoint who you want. I'm fine. I'm just saying that. They, but in fact, is I fire any attorneys who think they're representing me. I have the right to uh, to speak for myself, to argue for myself, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not accepting a lawyer who's going to then uh, it was going to be fraudulently assumed that I'm a defendant now under the jurisdiction of the court. I have the mm -hmm. right not to do that. That's why I'm not accepting that. All right. I am I'm going to set this matter for a jury trial since he is not making any determinations. Sir, this jury trial will be scheduled on October 26, 2020 right, for a final settlement conference. Right, hold on. Let me write that down here. And um, then jury yeah, selection will be November 3rd. Oh. Hold 2023 on. at 9 a.m. Hold on, I didn't hear you. you. said October 26th is the trial date, right? Final settlement conference is what I said. Final settlement conference on one again? October the 26th at 11 a.m. Is that going to be Zoom? Yes, it is. Okay, now... Um... Now, I have a question about, I had um, sent a petition in for a hearing for- uh, Petitions are not recognized in this court and they've been rejected and you received notice for that. Well, that's not, that denies due process, of right? it denies that to the court. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Jury selection in this case will be on November 3rd at 9 a.m., sir. You need to be here in person and ready to go. Bond is continued. Next case. You can't fix stupid. And thanks for joining us on Facts Your Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. And a huge thank you to our channel members Robert Morley, Andy, Chris Kellen, Goss the Truth, Pedro Wack and Mole, CW1960, Sean Oldfart, Drew B, Pat's Cats, Butcher Bird, West Side Girl, Reacts, Cold Stone Wolf, and Jason Heaton. If you'd like to become a member, just hit that join button right next to subscribe or click on the link in the description. And if you're still hanging around, thank you. I appreciate you all. Why not hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and ring that bell. And also leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think. If you'd like to support the channel, hit that super thanks button. Until next time, I'll see you soon.